Hi there. I'm Justin, and that's and that's and that's that's Frankie. That's Frankie. Frankie Poulain from the darkness, um, and you're watching the Kerrang podcast. Right this minute. It is, isn't it? Can you feel it? Yes. Are you going to lie down yes. like a cow? I can feel it. I can feel one shower, yeah. It's coming. That, that may be me. I just spit a lot when I talk. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Crank Podcast, day one. We're at uh, Donington. I'm with uh, Justin and Frankie of The Darkness. And hey. uh, how's, how's the build up to your, your massive comeback performance going? It's good. It's like, um, you know, how it feels right now when the clouds are about to burst. It's like that. Yeah. Something, something's going to happen. We don't know what it's what that will be, yeah. But we're terrified and excited at the same time. Yeah. So ner- nerves have uh, been playing up on the darkness as uh, psyche. Yeah, the bowels. <laughs> have you? How many times have you been in the toilet today? So one, but it was pretty triumphant. All right. I actually, how many um, Ks would you have given it? Uh, four. No, yeah. four. Four Ks for consistency. Five for smell. Right. Nice. Are you? Were you party to this? Uh, no, we don't. Um, release. <laughs> share the same uh, bathroom when one of us is shitting. We normally take turns. Right. Oh, so it's not a group effort? No, oh, but no. we do sometimes show off a little bit. We leave the, leave the door open when, there's, when it's really noisy. Kind of like skittery ones, you know yeah. those ones? Oh yeah, it's terrible. Um, so t- take me back to when you uh, all got back together again. What were those sort of first rehearsals like? Uh, they were like concerts, but uh, with no crowd. Right. <laughs> <laughs> was, was everything on key? Was you know, were all the no, notes played in the right a, order? It was off key. But that, that's kind of what we're like, actually. But we kind of need to get really terrible, and then suddenly it gives us a kick up the ass, and then we go to the opposite extreme quite quickly. It's a little bit like quite when, uh, you know, somebody... You have to hit rock bottom in order to hit bounce back, really. Yeah. So... We enjoy that. In we a way, we deliberately do a shit rehearsal, and then it right. sounds good afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's on purpose, in a funny way, yeah. Right. So what can we expect from tonight's uh, show? Will there be the White Tiger as made famous the uh, well yeah but it's not going to be uh, we thought about bringing the white tiger up and then we realised that the concept of skyhooks doesn't actually ring true you can't <laughs> you can't suspend something from wires <coughs> when there's no rigging above the audience to do yeah. it from <laughs> um, would have thought you might have worked, a way, <laughs> worked your way around that to be honest we'd love to do stuff like that but it's just festivals doesn't work like that right. unfortunately so will it be uh, without the tiger will it have as much bite Oh, thank good. you. Very good. Thank you. I've got it written down there. I've been dying to use it all day. Tiger, but I can see those yeah. two words. Yeah. It's just a picture of Tony the tiger and some frosties yeah. for later Talking on. of tiger, actually, um, I had an accident uh, before the, the last gig. Um, I found a little uh, tub of what I thought was Vaseline. Right. And I kind of smeared it on my lips. And then I realised it was tiger bam. Right. So it set your face on fire. So my lips were on fire, yeah. Yeah. Has that subsided somewhat? Or? Well, like, I actually quite enjoyed it, so I might do it again, because it was like a pre-gig routine and the gig went really well. Right. So I'm so going to do it again. I might start rubbing yeah, it in, no, in, in other places. Right. On all of my um, oh, tender parts. Yeah. Arse. <laughs> yeah. So you're both rocking moustaches today. Uh, you've yeah, you've had yours you for a while. Too. Nice to see well, you. Well, it's, it's sketchy. It's like I've been just ginger dust has fell on my top lip yeah, but uh, I mean what's your ritual for the uh, do you use a lot of wax or is it um, something no mine's, nat- mine's all natural I mean I don't believe in kind of contriving things like this I mean if you, you, you always get the moustache you deserve I feel <laughs> thanks um, very much <laughs> what, what, what did I do in a previous life <laughs> yeah. um, I think that relates to what you do in this life really. right I mean I'm, I'm not one for the uh, what's it called reincarnation yeah. and subsequent moustache punishment <laughs> yeah I, I mean, I just mean that uh, if you you know sleep if you sleep rough because you don't you don't you're not proud of what you did during the day, then you're going to wake up with bad hair and moustache. Right. Simple as that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. So uh, you've been working on a new album. Um, I mean, how's the how was the writing for that? Did you know did a lot of the magic uh, happen straight away? Um, well, that's the thing about magic. You can never really tell when it's going to appear. I mean. I'm t- real magic I'm talking about, right. not, you know, rabbits from hats and stuff. You can usually predict when something's going to happen in, <laughs> in, magic, in magic shows. We, I mean, it was awesome from day one, and it's, you know, hopefully going to carry on being awesome. Cool. So you said you, uh, in a recent Kerrang! interview, uh, you're back living in Lower Stuffed. Uh, will a lot of the songs, will it be a concept album about uh, the sort of prodigal son's return? You can have that for a title. If oh, you I want. like that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad, is it? 
Um, you heard it here first. Unless I edited it. You can tell we're desperate for album titles, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, it's the human. It's not. It won't be a. Con- I don't think it'll be a concept album in uh, as such, really. But um, yeah, I mean, I think we, we'll maintain. We'll still. It'll be a darkness album, you know. So yeah. Beyond that, yeah. there ain't no concept really. Yeah. But it is like um, important to remember where you come from, really. And, you know, especially when you're going home. Yeah, because you're just wondering. Otherwise, right? you know, otherwise you're gonna need a sat nav. So yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how I mean, how close to completing the album are you? Are you dotting close. the T's and crossing the I's? Or? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. It's definitely an I dot. Nice. Yeah. Turn a T cross time. <laughs> it's like I think I, I need to sing like three or four more songs. Right. Um, but all the backing tracks are done apart from that and some solos. Cool. So, well, I mean, you, you've just announced a, a UK tour for November. Um, will the album be out just before that, or is it something to? Uh, to work I don't know really, it might be before, during, after, around then though. Right. You know. So could you be less vague about the release or? I have no idea. Right. It's fine. Is that, is that less vague? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> that is less vague actually. Yeah. I mean, Soon. Yeah. Like, there you go. <laughs> In the future. Yeah, it's part of the calendar I enjoy the most. It just says, <laughs> you know, months then yeah. just vagueness to write just notes. Just shade it lightly. Oh yeah, cool. So I mean, what will you be doing for that tour? I mean, because you, you know you're renowned for you know yeah. a spectacular stage show when it's you know your own headline sets and stuff. Well, I think we did a certain a certain level of spectacularness on the first album, but then I think the second album was kind of so bloated and kind of, you know overproduced and stuff that not in a bad way, just the way that's what it was, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think to make that material fly, mm-hmm. I had to fly twice in the set and stuff like that. So it became really theatrical and really prop led and really self-indulgent and that's what it was you know I don't think the new material is like that so we can afford to do something more of a music show than a props show you know I think we're more we're more we're more aiming towards the ACDC area than the KISS area right so you'll be coming but in not shorts. that we don't love both yeah. but you know topless small shorts and dropping your trousers that's, at one a, stage. that's a really good look though isn't it yeah it's a strong look what a great I mean what a great moment in a show as well yeah